Step into the world of the 1972 TV series, where you'll join a charismatic investigator in solving mysterious cases. Throughout the show, be ready for a roller coaster of emotions from moments that will make you laugh to shocking revelations that keep you on the edge of your seat and touching scenes that tug at your heartstrings. Have you ever thought about a particular scene or moment from the series, wondering about its lasting impact? Maybe there's a favorite character whose role you can't get enough of. Share your most special memories or personal experiences related to the series in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories and reflections. As you continue watching, keep an eye out for those unforgettable moments that will stick with you long after the credits roll. Enjoy the journey as our investigator unravels one mystery after another, leaving no stone unturned in the quest for the truth. Get ready for a ride filled with humor, suspense, and everything in between. Stay tuned for more excitement to come. So sit back, relax, and immerse yourself in the show as he navigates the twists and turns. Get ready for a journey filled with humor, suspense, and everything in between. Stay tuned for more, because there's plenty more excitement to come. In the realm of classic television, there's a standout show from 1972 that continues to captivate audiences even today. Its clever plots and charming lead character have left a lasting impression on viewers. The series broke new ground by featuring a Polish American protagonist, a rare sight on mainstream TV back then. His wit and resourcefulness made him a memorable figure in television history. This TV gem has also influenced many detective shows that came after it. With its clever puzzles and charismatic lead, it set a standard for the genre. Even in today's TV landscape, it remains a beloved classic, cherished by both longtime fans and newcomers alike. It's amazing how a show from decades ago can still hold such relevance in our entertainment world. Its impact on the mystery genre and cultural representation is undeniable, making it a timeless favorite. So, if you haven't experienced it yet, it's definitely worth a watch. Nestled on MT, Vernon St. Liza residence, just a stone's throw away from a quaint bookstore on Beacon St. Their close proximity, within a brief walk, might explain the frequent visits made by the character. The cigars enjoyed by him weren't just ordinary, they were personally selected panelists from the 21 Club in New York, adding a special touch to his character, reflecting the actor's own preferences. Despite his habit of quoting supposedly polished sayings, none of these phrases have roots in polished culture. The writers devised these lines for comedic effect. Interestingly, the name Banasek itself is more commonly associated with Slovakia, not Poland. In summary, the neighborhood, choice of cigars, and quirky sayings all contribute to the distinctive character portrayed in the TV series, showcasing attention to detail by the creators. In the series, Banasek cruised around in a 1941 Packard 180 with a Victoria body by Darren. As the opening credits roll, he's seen rowing on the Charles River, with the camera capturing the ongoing construction of the new John Hancock building. Due to a design flaw, the building's windows kept popping out and crashing to the ground, leading to its nickname as the Plywood Skyscraper. George Papara, the series star, also served as second unit director for most episodes during season two. He played a crucial role both in front of and behind the camera. Ever notice how sometimes in TV shows, small details can make a big impact? Well, in a classic series, there's a driveway that might ring a bell if you're a fan of a certain movie. It turns out, the same driveway scene in The Thomas Crown Affair makes an appearance in this series. It's a neat little connection between two well-known productions. Additionally, there's a limousine in the series that has a license plate with a specific number 175 e and 43. It's a small detail, but it adds a touch of realism to the character's world. That license plate becomes something you associate with the character's transportation. And then there's the lead actor's taste in cigars. In the show, he enjoys a certain type, different from what he's seen smoking in another famous series. These cigars are slimmer and shorter here compared to the longer and thicker ones in the other show. It's a subtle difference, but it shows how much attention to detail goes into portraying a character. So whether it's the familiar driveway, the unique license plate, or even the choice of cigars, it's the little things that really enrich the viewing experience of this classic series. In an impressive first role with Universal, George Papara took the spotlight in a series that later paved the way for another well-known project. The cigars he picked in the initial series were different from the ones he later preferred in the second show. Adding a touch of realness, the unique car in the series had a license plate with a number you won't forget. These small details give interesting glimpses into George Papar's early work with Universal Studios, showing how his on-screen cigar choices evolved and adding a special touch to the series. Crafted with attention to detail, 
This story not only showcases the actor's journey, but also reflects the storytelling style of the time. Despite its promising ratings, the show encountered an untimely demise before its third season. George Papar's departure, prompted by personal reasons, led to the show's abrupt end. Papar's decision stemmed from his divorce proceedings with Elizabeth Ashley as he aimed to safeguard his earnings from her. This unfortunate turn of events marked the conclusion of the series. Banasek's approach was distinct from traditional investigative methods. Initially, he focused on cases abandoned by insurance companies after 60 days, offering a reward for their recovery. Over time, the show's narrative shifted to involve fresh theft cases, reflecting the producer's desire for more immediate and dramatic storylines. This evolution mirrored similar changes seen in other detective series like The Rockford Files. A subtle detail in the season 2 opening highlights Banasek's attention to detail. Observant viewers may notice a deviation from his usual attire, as he wears brown leather gloves instead of his typical black ones. In the early 1970s, a popular actor was chosen for a weekly hour series, which eventually evolved into a 90-minute show as part of NBC's Wednesday mystery movie lineup. The actor's contract allowed him the freedom to pursue other projects after two seasons without renegotiation. He received a significant salary for his role, totaling over $4-8 million when including the premiere movie. One notable aspect of the show was the unique phone number associated with the character's car, which played a role in various plots. Despite its success, the actor's departure after two seasons changed the direction of the series. In the early 1970s, a captivating series emerged as part of NBC's Wednesday mystery movie lineup. Alongside other popular shows like Madigan and Cool Million, it introduced a sharp-witted protagonist who swiftly became a household name. As the seasons progressed, the show faced scheduling changes, but its popularity endured. Viewers were drawn to the clever detective work and intriguing mysteries that unfolded week after week. Over the course of the series, the recovered items amounted to staggering values, showcasing the protagonist's knack for cracking cases and recovering valuable goods. From priceless paintings to costly cargo jets, each episode offered a new puzzle for the audience to unravel. The character's sharp mind and keen eye for detail kept audiences hooked until the very end. Part of the NBC Wednesday Night Mystery movie, the show shared a format with Columbo, but distinguished itself by emphasizing intellect over action. The protagonist, employing his powers of observation and deductive reasoning, took center stage in solving cases, steering clear of flashy action sequences. Throughout the series, the character Banasek showcased his keen observational skills, unraveling mysteries through logical deduction. In a departure from the norm, the show's focus on intellect rather than physicality set it apart from other contemporaneous crime dramas. For those keen on details, Felix Mulholland's bookstore phone number was 555-9103 for the premiere movie and 555-786 for the TV series. These seemingly trivial details added a layer of authenticity to the narrative, grounding the show in a realistic framework. The deliberate choice to avoid excessive action and the inclusion of distinctive details, such as phone numbers, contributed to the show's unique appeal. In a landscape crowded with action-driven crime shows, Banasek carved its niche by relying on wit and intellect, making it a standout in the Wednesday night mystery movie lineup. In a show, there's a scene where a young Margaret Kidder compares the main character to Superman, which is funny because later she becomes famous for playing Lois Lane in Superman movies. The way they talk to each other is cool because they make jokes and talk about stuff from pop culture. These moments make the show more fun to watch and show how the characters are interesting. It's cool to see how different parts of entertainment history connect in unexpected ways. In a rather sad turn of events, one of the main actors in the TV series, George Papar, faced challenges with alcohol during the show's production. This personal struggle affected how well he acted, leading to problems on set and making things more complicated behind the scenes. Surprisingly, the series ended earlier than expected, only running for two seasons. This left fans wishing there were more mysteries for the sharp detective to solve. Despite its short time on air, Banasek is remembered by many as a special show, becoming a classic in television history. Even with its interesting story and good storytelling, Banasek couldn't avoid being canceled. This left viewers feeling sad about the sudden end of their beloved show.